All right, so I don't know. I I appreciate that you you, you got a nice little fade going on there. You, uh, maybe the chicks at the club will like that. You can. I guess you could. Just, you got a nice little fade going on there. You got a nice little fade going on there. You got a nice little fade going on there. Come on for a debate. You could. Bring, we can do. We'll find two vegans. Because people really like the the Jay Tristan tag team combo. It's always fun. All right, we get me, Jay, you, and some other vegans. We can go on kill stream or just me and you. And you can bring, you mentioned bringing a friend, that's fine, I don't care, you can bring a friend too. He's actually okay, wait, wait, guys. Isaac! I was invited! Oh, no, 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 Isaac, in no way were you invited. <laughs> you and some other vegans, you and some other vegans, you and some other vegans. And you can bring, you mentioned bringing a friend, that's fine, I don't care, you can bring a friend too. And you can bring, you mentioned bringing a friend, that's fine, I don't care, you can bring a friend too. Isaac, in no way were you invited. <laughs> you and some other vegans. And you can bring, yeah, you mentioned bringing a friend, that's fine, I don't care, you can bring a friend too. In no way were you invited. That's fine, I don't care, you can bring a friend too. Yeah man, we can talk about whatever you want, and you can bring on whoever you want. Yeah, yeah cool man, here's anyone. Dude, what? When I said anyone, I didn't mean anyone. So you want me to bring and not bring anyone? Yes, exactly. I told, yeah. I told Tristan I'm not going to talk to Isaac. Okay, he didn't tell me that, so there's no, I had no way of knowing. Why would we think, think that you're going to bring... It's not Tristan's fault. It's we didn't me. think you were going to bring King Spurg. We didn't think you were going to bring King Spurg. Isn't it funny that I called this... How many days ago did we call this, Jay? That he's going to bring on Isaac? We called with exactly what you were going to do, dude. We knew exactly what you were going to do. We didn't think you were going to bring King Spurg. We didn't think you were going to bring King Spurg. Isn't it funny that I called this... How many days ago did we call this, Jay? That he's gonna bring on Isaac. We didn't think you were gonna bring King Spurk. We called with exactly what you're gonna do, dude. We knew exactly what you were gonna do. We didn't think you were gonna. We knew exactly what you were gonna do. We didn't think you were gonna. We knew exactly what you were gonna do. We didn't think. We knew exactly. Yo, so get this. Anyone doesn't mean anyone, and I knew and didn't know that lifting vegan logic was going to bring ask yourself onto the debate. Yo, so guys, I like to claim that all non-Christian worldviews lead to contradiction, while having a worldview which says that anyone isn't anyone, and that I thought and didn't think that lifting vegan logic was going to bring Ask Yourself onto the debate. I'm the one with the worldview that doesn't lead to contradiction. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm sure most of you saw the cancer that was the debate that happened between me and Ask Yourself and Primal Edge Health and Jay Dyer. So if you didn't see what happened, basically the moment that Ask Yourself joined the debate, he was muted repeatedly, and Primal Edge Health and Jay Dyer refused to allow him to debate. Now, of course, all of this is just hilarious because, as shown before, Primal Edge Health put no real stipulations on who I could bring. He just said bring a vegan friend, which, you know, obviously can translate to anyone. So that's exactly what I did. And yeah, apparently, anyone isn't anyone. So on Instagram and my YouTube community feed, I mentioned what has been happening between us in terms of like what's going to happen with our future debates and all that. But I'm just going to mention it here anyway. So Tristan claimed that Ask Yourself was the main issue and why he refused to have the 2v2 debate and told me to bring somebody else. So the day after the debate, I emailed him the following stipulations. I basically said, are you willing to have a 2v2 debate with Avi Bitterman as my partner with the following stipulations? Number one, the debate must be in a call that is not hosted by you, but somebody neutral. And I said, we could figure this out together. Number two, a moderator isn't necessary. Number three, neither will have the ability to mute or kick members of the other side from the debate. He refused this offer, which doesn't make much sense given that Ask Yourself was the stated problem. So he says to bring anybody. I bring Isaac. The debate is turned down. I offer to bring Avi to the debate and the debate is turned down. He then responded saying, just debate me one-on-one -on, -one on my channel. And I said, I will debate you one-on-one, -on -one, but on a neutral platform. After what had taken place on his platform and the excessive and unfair muting and the large amount of other immaturity from Primal Edge in the past, it makes no sense for me to just go ahead and try to do a one-on-one -on -one debate on his stream where he will have those meeting powers, etc. In response to my attempt at initiating a debate on a neutral platform, he essentially told me that I was weaseling and refused my offer. So guys, this makes a lot of sense. Because I am attempting to initiate a debate on a neutral platform after being muted over and over and over and treated unfairly on his platform, I am weaseling from debate. Makes a lot of sense. Dude. Ask yourself, is the issue? Please find someone else. Okay, yeah, cool, man. So the problem is Isaac. So I have somebody else who's named Avi. But no, dude. Okay, so you told me to bring anybody. That didn't suffice. Then you told me to bring somebody else that isn't ask yourself. I did that and that didn't suffice. So what am I supposed to? Dude, anybody isn't anybody and somebody else isn't 
somebody else. Dude, what? You know what? I know yesterday I was like unfairly modding and you know excessively muting you over and over and over and giving you no reason to come back on my stream and debate me, but come back on my stream and debate me, all right, in a 1v1, let's do that. Okay, so how about we just have a debate on a neutral platform where like nobody has the ability to mute the other person and kick other people? Like, what if we did that? You know, like have a neutral debate? You know, like just a, like a neutral debate. Is that, is that a problem? Like, dude, no way. My stream only. There's definitely no way that I'm giving you this extremely unreasonable offer that I know you're not gonna accept because I'm secretly terrified of debating you on a neutral platform where I won't have the ability to mute you over and over and over when you push me into a corner. No way at all, dude. If you're gonna ask me to have a debate on a neutral platform, you are weaseling from debate. So on the day that I made this offer, I decided to just kind of announce on all of my social media platforms that Trashgen refuses to debate me on a neutral platform, which included tagging him on different social medias. And look at this comment referring to this. He's telling one of his uh, followers or something, check out his feed now, dorks been tagging me and begging all day on multiple platforms, pathetic. And I just said, you know, you won't debate me on a neutral platform, pathetic. Imagine calling somebody pathetic for wanting to have a debate on a neutral platform while being the person who refuses to have a debate on a neutral platform while also being the person who was unfairly modding and muting, which is making the debates happening on a neutral platform a need. No irony at all, I'm the pathetic one. So as you can see, the title of this video is Primal Edge Health, the worst and most clueless anti-vegan. Now, before I go over more evidence showing how clueless he is, let's just recap some of his cluelessness that we've gone over so far. Tristan asked me to bring anybody to the debate. I did, he objected. Tristan said that he didn't expect me to bring Ask Yourself in the debate, and then minutes later said he did expect me to bring Ask Yourself to the debate. Tristan asked me to bring somebody else that wasn't Isaac to the debate. I did that, and he objected. During my and Ask Yourself's time on Tristan's stream, he perpetually muted unfairly and just mod abuse in general, and then offers me to come back to his stream for a 1v1 debate. Tristan, please, like, dude, I have a question. What level of cluelessness do you have to possess to think that somebody would want to come back onto your platform after being treated like this. All right, so I don't know. I, I appreciate that you, you, you got a nice little fade going on there. You, I, maybe the chicks at the club will like that. You can, I guess you could just stay in debate. You wanna speak sign language? I know a little ASL. So when I, just as anybody should after what Ask Yourself and I went through, said I refuse to try and debate on a stream again, and say that we should have a debate on a neutral platform, he accuses me of weaseling from the debate. I am accused of weaseling out of a debate by saying we should have a debate in a fair environment. The brain power guys, I just, ugh, just can't handle it, man. Here's another really funny kind of thing that just shows how clueless Tristan really is. He often says things like, oh, like vegans ground their beliefs in nothing. Where do we derive this moral agency? And in your worldview, how do we know what is morally right and wrong? So something that the vegans can never answer, always ask them this. And if you are coming from a materialist, nihilistic standpoint, you can't stand up against veganism, you can't stand up against transhumanism, you can't stand up against the people trying to normalize pedophilia, you can't stand up against all the LGBTQIA+. If you're coming from a place of secular humanism and of nihilism and of materialism, you can't refute any of these worldviews. But these people ground their metaphysical claims in nothing, and they're not able to back it up. So I just want to go here and talk about Tristan and how clueless he is in this regard. He likes to go to vegans and say, how do you ground your morals objectively? You ground your morals with nothing, like all these things. And this is coming from a person who is a religious Christian and thinks that he can ground his morals in God. And if you ask him for evidence of God, he's not going to give you any of it. He's just going to say something like, oh, I had a non-material experience with, you know, a metaphysical being and I can't actually prove it to you. And then if I ask him, um, how do you prove that your senses during this experience were valid? How do you know that you're not under the illusion? How do you know that you're not a brain in a vat? All these things. He won't really have an answer. He's just going to say nothing or whatever. And my point here is that everybody at the base of our worldviews have to make an assumption. There's no way to know with absolute certainty, anything. Like right now, this video you're watching, like this can all be an illusion. You have no idea. You have no idea if you are in a lab unconscious and like you're in a fake, you know, simulation right now or something. Like there's no way to really know. So the basic point I'm trying to make here is that he's trying to say that, you know, vegans are, you know, materialists or, you know, agnostic or atheists. 
and ground our beliefs in nothing, but he isn't when he actually is. And also it's even worse because he's the one who claims to know and have absolute knowledge in virtue of God. I'm over here saying, I don't know if I have absolute knowledge. I don't think I do. I don't believe that I can really know anything for certainty. I kind of have to make assumptions as does everybody. So he is not special in that his worldview comes from a place where there's no, you know, unjustified assumptions. Basically every worldview has to make unjustified assumptions. So Tristan, if you're watching, you're not special. Your worldview is also based in unjustified assumptions and yours is arguably worse because you think you have absolute knowledge when you don't. So I wanna also talk about some of these voice messages he sent me about how I should be honored to have been mentioned on his channel. Just some context, when he was refusing to debate me on a neutral platform, I was just, you know, like sending him messages, like, you know, kind of like trolling and like also even making arguments about his worldview and how it's based in nothing. And he sent me these voice messages that were really funny that were like, dude, you should be honored that I even mentioned you on my show. Pull your head out of your come on the show if you want to, and quit I don't fucking owe you anything, dude. And you're fucking lucky I even mentioned your name on my channel. Fake. Like he was saying these really like funny things. And even in the past, like when we were like discussing how we would do um, this whole thing, like the whole like debate, he was saying like, oh, like, no, you're not going to be streaming on my channel. And the reason he was saying that is because I made a post implying that I was going to stream the debate on my channel. So he was like, no, 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 like you're coming on my show. You're going to my show. And if you don't want to do that, then, you know, I'll have someone else come on because like so many other people want to go on my show. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to, I'm not coming onto your channel, is what I'm saying. Like you can, I will, I'm more than willing to have you come onto my show, like I said in the beginning. But I'm not going to go onto your channel, so I'm not, you're not going to be restreaming. You're not going to stream the Zoom call. Um, if you're going to do that, then I'll just, you know, we'll, we'll figure something else out. I've got, a, there's a lot of other people that want to come on the show. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I'd enjoy to have you on. I don't think it's too much of a problem, right? So Tristan has this like weird conception that his channel is like special or something. You know, he literally said to me like, you should be honored that I had you on my show. Or I even said your name on my show. So let's look at his engagement compared to mine and see just how amazing and great of a channel Tristan has. In the last month from September 1st to October 1st, I uploaded 14 videos and Tristan uploaded 13 videos. I got 55,000 views in these 30 days while he got 90,000 views in these 30 days. Let's keep in mind that I have around 126,000 less subscribers than him. And just to be clear, I'm not even trying to brag about my view count right now. Like, I don't even think mine is like that crazy. As indicated by the title of this video, the point of this video is just to showcase that Primal Edge is the most clueless anti-vegan there is. So Tristan, this attitude of you should be thankful that I just let you come on my show and blah, blah, blah. And that you should be thankful that, you know, I said your name on my channel is just hilarious. Your engagement relative to your subscriber count is awful. Your channel is not a big deal and your content is boring. I get it, dude. Like live streams take a little effort and it's easy, but try making actual content alongside the live streams, dude. You know, now that I think about it, Tristan, I am so honored to go into your channel, man. Your view count relative to your subs is just crazy, man. What an honor. Please, like, please critique this video I'm making right now. Like, I really want to, you know, get those crazy amount of views that you're getting to those 126,000 more subscribers you have than me that, you know, apparently are not watching your videos. Like, amazing, dude. You're doing great. So I'm not going to play this specific video because I think it is a bit inappropriate, but I will link it in the description. And it is pretty funny and also telling of Tristan's character. Okay, so because I want this video to be a massive summation of evidence showing how clueless Primal Edge Health is, I'm going to show some clips from my last Primal Edge parody, which was in response to his response to my Apex Predator parody. I just couldn't help but put those parts in this video. The level of cluelessness was just perfect for the theme of this video. Get a load of this genius. Vegans are just so beta and myself with my gummy bears, my credit card, my car, my heart disease, my erectile dysfunction, and all these things just make me the most alpha mother on this planet. I, I love how they, they, they pick on the things that they're actually insecure about, right? It's, it's fun. Right, it's it's fu right, it's it's fu they're actually insecure about. 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 All right, so I don't know. I I appreciate that you you, you got a nice little fade going on there. You, I, maybe the chicks at the club will like that. You can, I guess you could just- They're actually insecure about. Some of my audience, and yes, I know what you're talking about here, the stupid little wannabe like inside jokes you have, dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid, wannabe sense of irony here. Who is your audience? 
Nobody gets these dumb jokes. All right, guys, so this part of Tristan's video response really got to me. I mean, like, it actually hurt me when I heard him say this because he's so right. Like, there were so many vegans that just didn't think this was funny and that just didn't understand what I was saying in this video. I mean, just have a look at all of the people that were just so clueless and didn't find this video amusing. Even vegans don't get your weird, stupid wannabe sense of irony here. Even vegans don't get your weird, stupid wannabe sense of irony here. Even vegans don't get your weird, stupid wannabe sense of irony here. And to, like the people that do actually maybe see what you're doing, which there's a few here in my audience, we see what's actually happening here. You're coping, dude. You're coping. Guys, I'm making this parody making fun of specific non-vegans who claim that being vegan is dumb because humans are apex predators because I'm coping. Coping, guys. All right, jokes aside, I am genuinely sitting here right now thinking of what I could possibly be coping for and deciding to point out how funny it is that there are specific people on this planet, keyword Tristan, specific people, not all people, specific people, that justify paying for mass genocide by saying, Bro, humans are apex predators while not killing prey themselves and using a credit card to obtain their prey instead of actually killing them. Guys, when I was making this video, I was coping so hard. Bring and killing your prey? Standing at a cash register, reaching in my wallet, grabbing my credit card, handing it to the cashier, and then purchasing my prepackaged prey, which I took no part in when it comes to actually killing them. Like, yo, I am the literal definition of an apex alpha predator. J okay, so if you're, you're going to criticize people who don't eat vegan food, right? If you're not a vegan, then you're a fake alpha. So I guess then vegans aren't allowed to buy things with credit cards. Vegans aren't al allowed to purchase food from the grocery store. Vegans have to go procure all their own food. All right, Tristan, this might be the worst of your misinterpretations of my video. Now, there were many, but yeah, this is probably the worst. The point wasn't that people shouldn't be using credit cards. It was that it is funny how the specific subset of non-vegans claim to be predators, while instead of killing their own prey like a real predator, they decide to, with a credit card, pay for somebody else to kill their own prey. How did you get from this part of my parody that I'm saying that people shouldn't be using credit cards? I am genuinely confused. What? Oh, you, if you don't do this, you're not a predator. If you don't do this, you're not cool. Dude, who cares? Nobody, we don't, this is the thing about people that don't do the vegan thing. We don't give a f about your rules about what we can and can't eat. We don't give a f about trying to seem cool because of our diet. We want to feel okay. We want to get through our day. <laughs> we want to be able to feed ourselves. Some of us want to be able to feed ourselves on our own land. And some of us are pretty dang successful at it and are enjoying it. So you're missing the point, man. Like, as usual. That's, the, that's what veganism is all about, isn't it? Missing the point. Okay, guys, how ironic is this? Tristan is telling me that I am missing the point of why a lot of people aren't vegan by pointing out that my parody, which is dedicated to specific non-vegans who make this specific argument against veganism, does not address the more common reasons that people aren't vegan. He missed the entire point of my parody and is trying to say that I am missing the point of why people are non-vegan. Let's also remember his missing of my credit card point as well. Definitely no irony here at all, Tristan. It's definitely not you who missed the point of my credit card joke, as well as the point of this entire video. Definitely not. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope I made my case today in proving that Primal Edge Health is the worst and most clueless anti-vegan. Trashin, if you're watching, just know that the debate offer is still on the table. We can have a 1v1 debate on a neutral platform. 
And also the 2v2 debate with Avi is also still on the table. So either one, whatever you want, we can have it and let me know. We can uh, set it up on some sort of neutral platform, maybe like modern day debates or, you know, whatever. I'd like to think that my request to have a debate on a neutral platform after what happened on Wednesday isn't that unreasonable. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. If you support my work and want to support me on Patreon, the link is in my description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid, wannabe sense of irony here. W who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid,